Good luck, chap. Thank you. Go for it. I told you about the shortcut around the top. Ah, it's we a lot take shorter. It. Nah, How do you know? Yeah, well, it's a bit That's slippery steady. and rough as well. So apparently, we're going to bring the dry shaft to where we're going to lay Don't think I've broken any. Just like... got about three miles into Pamperthog and uh, <laughs> an actual fuel pipe actually inside the uh, fuel tank came adrift uh, thus causing the the pump to actually pump air rather than fuel and, and cause Steve to stop in the stage. It's all over. How, how as a co-driver do you feel now? My first thought is I wonder what I'll do next. When it came to, uh, to the penultimate stage, I thought there were only two stages to go. I don't want it to stop. And that, and that is a good event when you don't want it to stop. I feel that the uh, Frizzell Rally Team CSMA is probably the most professional amateur club <clears throat> team uh, in Britain today. And uh, I think that all boosts morale within the team. And everyone, all three card, all, all the three card team, seem to pull together in one direction. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it, from our point of view, it is a very professional uh, effort. We like to consider ourselves part of this Frizzell team and the team aboard is more important than individual glory. Having said that, he's finished, that's Graham and Phil, shall we say, have finished seventh in F2 and the only cars in front of them were factory works cars. So again, we are very pleased with our position. Relieved, I think. <laughs> um, the first thought is, yes, it's great. It's it's magic to know that um, that the car that you've been looking after for for four days did get there. Um, a degree of elation and um, a hell of a lot of relief, really. <laughs> Well, I must say, I'm over the moon right now. We've actually finished the event. Uh, it's always been my dream to finish the RAC, and it was actually far better than I even thought it was going to be. I thought the finish ramp would be the place where the magic would really set in, but the last stage was absolutely superb. For more or less 12 miles, there were just people lining the whole hole of the stage, clapping, cheering, just pushing you on, not to go off, but just as you really got so far. And also, when we actually crossed the flying finish, well, we were in fifth a long time before that, but uh, I must say I tried even harder through that flying finish than we had before. And that was, I got quite emotional going through there, I must say. Um, being part of a team, a proper competitive club team, gives a real buzz as well. So, thanks yet again to all. Without them, we couldn't have done it. We wouldn't have got this far. Ow. We're very grateful that this year we've managed to have the company of Paternoster, the Frizzell's PR company, and also some uh, dignitaries from Frizzell's uh, headquarters in Bournemouth who stayed with us for a couple of days. And this all helps to make a very unique atmosphere for the 1995 event. 
I can't really imagine doing an RAC without the Frizzell involvement that we have. We're very fortunate in the relationship we have with Frizzell. Um, easily said, I know, but very sincerely meant. Um, I'd just like to say finally a rather special thank you to quite a few people. This has made it uh, a very successful event for the CSMA with Frizzell's backing, Frizzell Rally Team CSMA. And it's not just the crews out there that have done all the work, because as every rally driver knows, most rallies are won back in the workshop and underneath the car in service areas. So I'd like to say a very big thank you to everybody that's serviced, driven the management cars, driven the chase cars, fed us and watered us, and particularly the people at the hotels that have been absolutely superb this year. I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody, but most of all, of course, as ever, our Frizzell's sponsors and supporters, without whose enthusiasm this just would not be possible. And I look forward to working with you again next year. Or should I say, je sais moi, Alan Partridge, je sais toi, Michel Lambert. Oh uh ho! -huh. <laughs> <laughs> now, you are a celebrity. You're France's second best racing driver. You get interviewed all the time. Do you get bored of the same old questions? Yes, that's very true. There's nothing worse than uh, an interviewer who cannot be bothered to find uh, an interesting angle. You know? Yeah, I can imagine. When did you first want to be a racing driver? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Exactly, yes. Yes, yes exactly when. <laughs> right, now stop arsing the Bart and give me an hand with this motor. She'll be in to pick it up at lunchtime. All right. Oh, blimey, look, she's got a ball tire in. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, never mind, the other three are all right. We'll have them. <laughs> The wing mirror off as well. Our eyesight isn't that good. I shouldn't think she uses it much. Uh, going handy on your helmet in, wouldn't it? <laughs>